here is a cool little hot rod and it's not the fiberglass 33 Ford that you're used to seeing. This is a steel body, genuine 1933 Plymouth, five window coupe, suicide doors, body off frame, meticulous rotisserie restoration. I mean, this thing is dialed in, it's nice. It has 2000 miles on it. It's a, definitely a street friendly car, air conditioned, 350 motor. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the information and look at the pictures top to bottom. And that's where you find a price tag, not only on this car, but on every car we have for sale, along with the monthly finance option as well. That's all at volocars.com. Now, if you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, that way you're notified when the new ones are posted. There's also a buy it now button you can click if you get real excited about uh, this or any of the other cars now just lock it up until you have a chance to think and talk with the salesman But for right now join me. Let's go for a spin Yeah, it's nice the frame is painted as smooth and glossy black as as the uh, body itself uh, Has a drop axle up front with the tubular trailing arms has the transverse leaf spring and shocks up there uh, in back it has a four link setup with tubular control arms, coil over adjustable shocks, got a nice custom exhaust, and it has the heat wrap going all the way to the muffler. It just keeps the heat going out instead of up into the car. Um, it's got some nice polished tips coming out the back here, big square MagnaFlow tips. Of course, the brake system was completely new when they built the car. It does have disc in front, drum in back. Uh, hydro not hydraulic, it's got stainless steel hydraulic hoses <clears throat> going to the brakes. Uh, looking up at the motor, it's got a nice uh, like finned aluminum oil pan with a matching flywheel cover and a matching pan on the transmission. So all three pieces go together. It looks really sharp. It has a polished uh, starter, high torque starter. Ford 9 inch rear end is painted gloss black. So under this car is real slick. Also has power brakes, the power booster and the masters underneath the car. So the body, again, it's all metal body, uh, has the ribbed roof on here and it's nice, it's straight. I don't see any body work. I mean, this is exceptional. Metal hood, this is all just absolutely straight. It has the louvered side panels, the original grill. All of this is excellent. Everything fits beautifully, not a ripple. This is all straight as can be. Suicide doors, it has handles. I like the handles more so than the remote myself. And that's nice. That's real nice. It has the original rain gutters and hinges. And again, the lines are nice. There's no bubbles. There's no body work. This is not not a budget restoration. This is high quality workmanship here. All this is just fantastic. Absolutely mirror finish, straight bodywork. So this is custom back here. You got the recessed license plate. All of this, the body's amazing. So is the paint. It's glass. It's a glass finish paint job. I did not find a flaw. Maybe there is something minor to point out, but I don't see one. It's beautiful. Has a little bit of the old school custom hand pinstripe put on it. Nice little touches here and there. The glass is all new. Uh, it's power windows. Uh, you said it has the nice door handles, mirrors, has the big round headlights like they would have had back then. Uh, it has, I think these are called Zeus fittings. You turn those to open the hood. We'll open that in a little bit has the original Plymouth uh, emblem right here and the original radiator cap, a little bit of chrome peeled off on that. Turn signals are incorporated right there into the front of the frame. There's horns behind the grill. This chrome is beautiful. So that's the outside of the car. Oh, the wheels, 15 inch chromed wheels. They're beautiful. Cooper radial tires, fatter in the back, uh, spinners on the middle. Now let's open it up, show you the inside. Okay, so why am I standing over here? So I gotta open the power trunk. Got an electric switch inside. There's also a, 
a release lever too if you ever had to pop the trunk open. So underside the trunk's painted gloss black, the weather strip seal's all new. Look how nicely it's all boxed and upholstered, carpeted with the bound edges, and it all fits nice. It's not falling down or anything like that. Yeah, 1933 Plymouth uh, owner's manual to go with it as well. Got some cool tail lights there too I didn't really talk about. Okay, so there's suicide doors. Nice bright red interior. I love it. It really pops. So the dash has all this faux metal painted wood grain all over. It looks really sharp. It's around the window frames and that. It's all painted slick black. Uh, Stuart Warner matched gauges. So this is an actual little glove box here. This custom panel was made down below for the air conditioning. Uh, Nice carpet, a low-car e-brake, low-car shifter, custom console with power windows, power locks, and a working clock. The seats are very comfortable, nice sport seats with the Plymouth embroidered on it. Uh, they recline forward, but there's no reason to recline forward other than to show you it's all upholstered. The whole inside of this cabin is upholstered real nice. <clears throat> Headliners done, no interior lights work. It does have visors, a billet mirror, one electric wiper. It's a beautiful custom wheel on a tilt column. And then uh, the power locks is actually a deadbolt because they're suicide doors. They can fly open while you're driving. Uh, so that deadbolts the door shut once you're in the car. So you have to worry about that. So it is a 350 motor, uh, rebuilt and bored to a 355. The name of the shop, Stewart's Performance Engineering, that's who built it. Uh, on top is a polished intake with an Edelbrock card, HEI ignition system, chrome alternator, a set of coated headers. We got some billet pulleys. So aluminum radiator with electric fan, polished overflow bottle. Uh, we got an air conditioning system, a chrome fuel pump. We got nice polished plug wire holders. The firewall is smooth and painted black. And you can see how nice it is. It has electric choke. It seems to run real well. That's always a concern. How do you fit in one of these? I'm six foot tall and the seats are very comfortable. I've got some headroom. Uh, it is a two footer. You got a one foot on the brake on the left of the column, the other one on the gas to the right of the column. Typical in these. And I'd say it's very comfortable. So this is a high quality car in my opinion. The fit and finishes throughout are really impressive. Great looking colors. I like their choices on everything. Just a nice old school hot rod that's not 32 or 34 Ford. It's a Plymouth. And I did find minor paint flaws. Headlights got a couple scratches when someone lowered the hood. They must have hit the headlight. Just, I mean minor. So there you go. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen can help answer your questions, including how to get this delivered to your door and how to get it financed. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you will be notified when new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.